Hello students. First of all, congratulations to all those who cleared the exams. Results were declared yesterday. And congratulations in advance to the, all those who are about to clear this examination in November 2023. All the very, very best. And the reason for making this video is I faced one issue, one practical challenge in the exemption scheme uh, and from the new scheme introduced by the ICAA. And this particular point was not covered in the anywhere in the anywhere over the you know, videos which I have watched. So I'm just want to cover that point for next five minutes. I'm not going to discuss about everything about the new scheme. You are well aware of it. And um, there are multi information is already available over the YouTube. So what I'm going to concentrate here is the exemption scheme. So I will directly go to that particular point here. Yeah, if you see this particular para, students who appear in November 2023 and pass one of the groups in the existing scheme of final or has got the exemption in one of the papers. So I'm taking the CA final as an example. So for example, if you clear any group, or if you have an exemption, res respective paper in the new scheme will also get exempted. For example, for accounts, accounts will get exempted, auditing, auditing will get exempted like that. But what about the law and SEMPE papers? Because those were not existent in the new curriculum. So this becomes a problem. And I'll, I'll explain you with an example. Let me uh, take an example here. This is a genuine concern. Be with me for five minutes. Let's take an example of Mr. X appeared for the CA final examination then CA final examination he appeared and his result is as follows accounts he got 45 and SFM he got 50 and uh, auditing unfortunately he failed and in law he got 65 he got an exemption in law let's do the some of this and he failed in the examination aggregate as well but he got an exemption this is for november 2023 of mr x again in may 2024 he gave the first group and he got the same marks in accounts as well as in sfm but in the audit paper he got 45 and again he got a, he got an exemption here so let us say that this is the old scheme only continues in this May 2024 as well. So assume that only, only old scheme is continuing in the May 2024 as well. What would be his result? He will be declared as he will be declared as pass because he got 205 in the paper. Okay, his overall result is pass. Right, but in the new course. For the same May 2024, so every student will be automatically converted to the new group from the May 2024 examination. If he gets the same result, same marks in the first three papers, he will be declared as failed because the he has not acquired the you know the passing passing percentage of 150. That is 50 percent. 50% 150 marks he should he should get in the new scheme for one group he has shot by 10 marks so do you think this is unfair because he got an exemption in the law paper earlier he got 65 he have a margin marks of 15 that margin marks of 15 he was not able to utilize it because the subject itself was not present in the new scheme so this is the concern that i want to share it with you and most probably institute will come up a, a solution saying that the law paper if any student gets a exemption in the law paper in the old scheme November 2023 uh, before and he can get an exemption on the set A of the self-paced online module which is related to the corporate and economic class that could be the most reasonable expectation from the institute but still the extra 15 marks which where we will get for the next three attempts if you get an exemption that extra 15 marks extra 10 marks whatever whatever the extra marks that are not added to the remaining subjects he, he is losing actually the, the set of benefit with the excess marks okay this is what the point i want to convey i hope you understand this point if you agree with me if you feel that this is a genuine concern and there is a problem please mention in the comment section Okay, and further, on behalf of all of you, I, I wrote an email also to the Board of Studies about the same issue with an example also I explained it and I'm waiting for their reply. If I get a reply, I will update you with a different video. 
थैंक यू स्टेट यून बाय